Hi folks, uh, not a very nice day in London, uh, raining, but there has been one or two breaks. I've been out on my bike to post a couple of paintings, and uh, the odd errand. Luckily uh, we're, we're very close, to, well about half a mile from the shop, so, so you can walk or don't have to use a car unless we do our main shop somewhere else. Very handy. So what should we paint today? I'm often asked what inspires me to paint. But if I sat here waiting for inspiration, I wouldn't do any painting at all. I just get on with it. Just start. But I have got um, well over a thousand demonstration photographs on Facebook, which I use, but they're mine, they're my originals and and the paintings never come out the same. But I just look through them to am I inspired to do, yeah, let's have a go at that. Or I don't I just work from my mental repertoire such as it is. So painting isn't about inspiration. Inspiration comes when you after you start painting, in my case. Right, so we've got a bit of Saunders water for 90 pound cold pressed paper. We give it a bit of a wet to match the weather outside. I don't want to make it too wet. I just, this paper is quite absorbent. That's why the paint soaks in and spreads in a lovely way. Okay, let's get some some sienna. Bit of raw sienna. If anybody ever wants to buy a painting, I've got about 80 on Etsy. But if you, there's one in particular you, you like and think you might, like I'll put it on Etsy. They don't take much commission anyway, they're very fair. Uh, that's okay, that's a, got a nice, nice bit of blue. Okay, now we'll have a bit of bit of sh bit of cloud, bit of red, bit of blue. Then we've got a nice cloud colour. Okay, whatever we'll else, sky. How long did that take? I often do my clouds straight across, like layered, but as often as not, you've got clouds coming up from the horizon and building. So let's uh, take those off. Uh, we just pull them, to pull the paper tight, pull out the, the, the crooked bits. There we are. Now I'm going to dry that because I don't want that to soak right in. So here we go. So take your headphones off. Go. I've got a follower on YouTube who I think is a young person, young lady, young person, I don't mean young, but I don't know. And she's got a new channel, she just started out with YouTube and it's called um, The Colourful Painter. Uh, I'd like to give her a little bit of a leg up because she's, she's painting in acrylic, she's quite original. She, 
she was honest with me when she copied, well, she made a version of one of my acrylic paintings and I'm quite happy to say that she made a good job of it. So I'd like to just give her a little bit. So if you get a chance, look, look her up on YouTube, Colourful Painter, and uh, see what you think. Right, okay, so we're going to, I want to do a sea picture. Gosh, it's, it's really warm, close today, but very, very wet. Now, I didn't get wet when I went out on my bike. Right, so a bit of that clear colour, but more blue added. And we're just getting a bit of a, a bit of a headland. Make sure the bristles are all together. Add a little bit of there's a bit of burnt sienna in there just to warm warm some of it up a bit of sand showing through don't really like that but we'll have the uh, Beach coming round there. Okay, I'll do. Uh, I'll give that a little little dry. So bear with me. I went a bit wrong there, so I've just I've had to change things. If you're going to do a wet in wet painting, provided the paper is still wet and shiny, you can do what you like with it. But once it starts to dry, you have to take you have to um, wait for it to dry, wait until the shine goes off the paper, then you can carry on. But if you hit it when it's going, just going off, going, sort of going into the, uh, soaking into the paper, that's very critical, so leave things alone. Well, I just... Uh, Okay, I'm going to put some trees on there. I'll use a smaller brush for that. Uh, I think I'll use Frank Clark's Little Hake for that. So a bit of blue, a uh, bit, of, bit of Payne's Grey. A bit warmer as we're coming further into the picture. Sorry if my head's in the way, but I can't help that. Okay, that's a good little hike this one. Right, okay, now we're going to go back to uh, to that, that's fairly dry. And we'll have another bit of a bit of warm.
get some dark tone and texture Bit of a shore here, just making it up as I go along. Okay, that'll do. A bit of, bit of darker shadow under there. Right now we've got some good green on the top of that cliff. Okay. Right now we've got a bit, bit of sea in now. I'll go back to me, me large hake. Bit of sea colour, so a bit, bit of blue. Just leaving some out. If that dries a bit, I'll put in some uh, some sandy colour in that. That's, so a bit, bit of burnt umber. It's a good sand colour. Mix with a bit of sienna. And I'm going to go over this with some grasses and I'll put a bit of bit of that blue cloudy colour. So this is a sort of a reflection of the sky in the water. Oh, let's just put some of that in there, just let it dry in much wet. Well, I'll let that dry off a bit, or I'll help it on the way. Stretch. Okay, I'll give this a dry. Ready, you go. I might uh, use um, a bit of gouache in there, it's gone a bit dark. Right now, then, here we go, we're going to use this lovely brush here. Uh, 
just a, just a pretty, it's not old, it's quite new actually. Oh, I haven't used used it much, but it's such a cheap brush. But look at it, look, look, look at the possibilities. Yellow, Payne's grey, bit of water, not a lot of water, but you want it fairly dry. Now, so we, this is what we want to do, get some of this. Now the wind catching the, the I think it's called marron grass. I've been on a sort of a cliff in uh, Cornwall, although it's not Cornwall, Cornish coast, it's more of a Devon coast. Uh, going back to the Hague, uh, now we've got a nice bit of bit of umber and a bit of bit of sienna. I'm going to add a little bit of shadow in there. Okay, now then. I'm going to um, use some gouache. Let's uh, just clean the pad a little bit. To just just a bit of modelling on that cliff, so we'd have a bit of bit of burnt burnt umber and a bit of bit of white, bit of gouache. Okay, let's just just give a bit of texture in in that cliff. Uh, now we just want to get a bit of bit of dry brush in here, I think. Touch of water and just this little bit of shadow. So we've got a sort of a cloud shadow on the on the beach and the sand. Okay, now then a little bit of bit of texture in.
Now that's going to dry much lighter. Just putting these little bits, bits of ripple on. It's the easiest way I know to, to do that. Uh, right, I'm not going to use any gouache in the water. I mean, it's obvious what it all is. Uh, it's a bit of a rigger. Um, and a bit of, bit of green. Just a bit of a... Look at that lovely green look. It's just Payne's grey and cadmium yellow pale. Lovely stuff. Okay, I'll put a signature on it. I don't know if it's worth it, but. Right, so. Seabirds, well, oh look, I've done it again, look. Oh, okay, no figures, I don't bother to figures. Right, I'll put that in a mount and we'll have a, have a look at it. That uh, horizon is not quite uh, horizontal, so I'd have to I have to do that. So I'm trying to leave the gaps for the to to simulate the uh, the ripples coming in at a sort of a low low tide. Let's just see what that's like. I'll just give it a quick try because it'll make it a bit fainter. Okay, well, there we are. Let's just wind this up a bit. Wasn't what I had in mind to start, start with, but uh, it's okay. So seaside <coughs> it's very much like north well north call north devon uh, i would say uh, not a lot of de uh, detail here just an impression of the trees up the hill here and along there cliff coming down not a particularly great painting but uh, i hope you like it thanks for watching guys bye bye